Welcome to this tutorial on integration using GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will use GeoGebra to look at integration to estimate area under a curve AUC, area bounded by two functions. Here, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 16.04. GeoGebra 5.0.481.0-D To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface. Integration For relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Definite Integral Consider f is a continuous function over interval a, b above the x-axis. A and B are called the lower and upper limits of the integral. Integral of f of x from A to B with respect to x is the notation for this definite integral. It is the area bounded by y equals f of x, x equals A, x equals B and the x-axis. Let us calculate the definite integral of this function with respect to x. Let us open a new GeoGebra window. In the input bar, type the following line and press enter. Note the graph in graphics view and its equation in algebra view. Using the slider tool, create a number slider n in graphics view. It should range from 1 to 50 in increments of 1. Drag the resulting slider n to 5. Under point, click on point on object and click at minus 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 to create a and b. Let us look at a few ways to approximate area under the curve. These will include upper Riemann and trapezoidal sums as well as integration. We will first assign the variable label upper sum to the upper Riemann sum in GeoGebra. In the input bar, type upper sum is equal to capital UPP. The following option appears. Click on it. Type G instead of highlighted function. Press tab to highlight start x value. Type x a in parenthesis. Similarly, type x b in parenthesis for end x value and n as number of rectangles. Press enter. Note that 5 rectangles appear between x equals minus 1 and 2. Under Move Graphics View, click on Zoom In and click in Graphics View. Again, click on Move Graphics View and drag the background to see all the rectangles properly. The upper sum area under the curve, AUC, adds the area of all these rectangles. It is an overestimation of the area under the curve. This is because some portion of each rectangle extends above the curve. Drag the background to move the graph to the left. Let us now assign the variable label trap sum to the trapezoidal sum. In the input bar, type Trap sum is equal to capital T R A. A menu with various options appears. Select the following option. We will type the same values as before and press enter. In algebra view, uncheck upper sum to hide it in graphics view. Note the shape of the trapezoids. Let us now look at the integral as the area under the curve. Finally, in the input bar, type capital I 
N T. A menu with various options appears. Select the following option. Again, we will enter the same values as before and press enter. In algebra view, uncheck trap sum to hide it in graphics view. For the integral, the curve is the upper bound of the AUC from x equals minus 1 to 2. In algebra view, uncheck integral A to hide it in graphics view. Under slider, click on text. Click in graphics view to open a text box. In the edit field, type upper space sum equals and in algebra view, click on upper sum. Click again in the text box and press enter. Type trapezoidal space sum equals and in algebra view, click on trap sum. Click again in the text box and press enter. Type integral A equals and in algebra view, click on A. In the text box, click OK. Click on Move and drag the text box in case you need to see it better. Now, click on the text box, click on the Graphics panel and select Bold to make the text bold. In Algebra view, check A, Trap Sum and Upper Sum to show all of them. Observe the values in the text box as you drag slider N. Trap sum is a better approximation of AUC at high N values. Integrating such sums from A to B at high values of N will give us the AUC. Let us open a new GeoGebra window. We will look at the relationship between differentiation and integration. Also, we will look at finding the integral function through point A1,3. In the input bar, type the following line and press enter. Let us call integral of f of x, capital F of x. In the input bar, type the following line and press enter. The integral curve of f of x is read in Graphics view. Its equation for capital F of X appears in algebra view. Confirm that this is the integral of F of X. Drag the boundary to see the equations properly. In the input bar, type the following and press enter. Note that this graph coincides with F of X. The equations for f of x and h of x are the same. Thus, we can see that integration is the inverse process of differentiation. Taking the derivative of an integral gives back the original function. Click on point tool and create a point at 1, 3. In the input bar, type the following and press enter. Click on create sliders in the window that pops up. A slider K appears. Double click on slider K. Set min at 0, max at 5. Scroll right to set the increment to 0 0.01. Close the preferences box. In algebra view, double click on I of X and on object properties. Click on color tab and select green. Close the preferences box. Drag K to make I of X pass through point A. Drag the boundary to see I of X properly. This function is capital F of X plus 0 
double integrals. Double integrals can be used to find the area under a curve along x and y axis directions, the volume under a surface z which is equal to f of x and y. Double integral an example. Let us find the area between a parabola x equals y squared and the line y equals x. The limits are from 0, 0 to 1, 1. This area can be expressed as the double integrals shown here. Observe the limits and the order of the integrals in terms of the variables. Let us open a new GeoGebra window. We will first express x in terms of y for both functions. In the input bar, type x equals y caret 2 and press enter. Next in the input bar, type y equals x and press enter. Click on view tool and select CAS. In algebra view, click top right button to close algebra view. Drag the boundary to make CAS view bigger. In CAS view, type INT, capital I, in line 1. A menu with various options appears. Scroll down, select the following option. Type Y for the first function. Press tab and type Y caret 2 for the second function. Press tab and type Y as the variable. Press tab and type 0 and 1 as start and end values of y. Press enter. A value 1 divided by 6 appears below the entry. This is the area between the parabola and the line from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Let us now express y in terms of x for both functions. In CAS view, type INT, capital I, and choose the same option from the menu as before. Now let us reverse the order of functions and limits. Type the following and press enter. You can also use the input bar instead of the CAS view. Under view, click on algebra to see algebra view again. Drag the boundaries to make CAS view smaller. In the input bar, type INT, capital I. From menu, select the following option. Type Y for the first function. Press tab, type Y, caret 2 for the second function. Press tab, type 0 as the start X value. And again press tab to move to and type 1 as the end X value. Press enter. This will also give you an area A of 0 0.17 or 1 divided by 6. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have used GeoGebra to understand integration as estimation of area under a curve AUC area bounded by two functions. As an assignment, calculate the integrals of f of x and g of x between the limits shown with respect to x. Explain the results for g of x. As another assignment, calculate the shaded areas between these pairs of functions. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission 
is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.